The Canon C70. I have had this camera for almost a couple of years now and it continues to impress me with the quality of the image and the versatility and usability of the camera. So today I thought I would break down why I think Canon C70 is still the best cinema camera in 2022. Versatility is at the heart of the C70. It has an RF mount Super 35 sensor that can be adapted to full frame EF with the speed booster or can be converted to PL with an RF to PL adapter, which you can get for 50 bucks. Or you can use any of the new generation of super cheap, pretty high quality cinema lenses like this Seven Artisans Spectrum 50 mil prime, which is 350 bucks. There are a ton of options to rig this camera. You can build it up into a cinema rig. You can strip it down and put it on a gimbal. You can use it as an action cam like I have here. But even with the battery, it's light enough to get pretty still handheld all day and not get tired. With the addition of RAW to the existing XFAVC 10-bit, you get a 12-bit epic deep color crispy format. It's available in three different flavors, but it's still small enough because of the 4K sensor that you can actually work with it. The RAW coming off the C500 Mark II is 6K and, and the R5C's 8K is great, but it's sometimes just a little too big to actually work with in post. Whereas the C70 RAW is just the right size. It has great low light capabilities, really clean blacks. It has the same high dynamic range sensor as the C300 Mark III. And of all the Canon cinema cameras, I really like the C70's menus. The quick menus on the touch screen allow you to pretty much change anything on the camera within just a couple of taps. I really find myself actually going into the menus anymore because everything is at your fingertips. You can load LUTs into this camera either to preview what you're shooting and still shoot C-Log two or three, or you can load them in as looks and burn them into the footage like I often do when I'm shooting YouTube videos and don't want to grade in post. It shoots on cheap and really available uh, SD cards. It has two XLR audio mounts right on the body and has internal ND. So unlike the R5C, you don't have to worry about on camera or on lens ND. You can get exposure with the top touch of a button. Probably my favorite feature about this camera is you can actually buy it. It's available, uh, what, five and a half grand brand new. It hasn't really been caught up in the availability problems with the chip shortages that the R5C has. And you can, because it's been out for a while, you can actually get a pretty decent one for like $4,000 on eBay US. It's just a real workhorse of a camera that can be used to do so many different things. You can shoot narrative with it, you can shoot documentary, you can shoot corporate, and it's really easy to change between those different uses. You don't have to rig and de-rig the camera. You don't have to change out the mount, like the C500 Mark II from EF to PL. And it's really compact. I travel with mine in this small little Tenba bag uh, with an extra battery and another lens, and it pretty much gets me everything I need. If you have the C70 or interested in getting one, I have a complete three hour long course on how to use this camera and how to get the best out of it in both the image and your workflow. Check it out at canonmasterclass.com. You can buy the course individually or you can get it with the other 28 courses on Canon Masterclass about lighting, blocking, ratios, post-production, all for a few hundred dollars a year. That's my look at the C70 in 2020. Still an absolute killer camera and for my money, the best out there. Oh, 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 oh,